Warm greetings from Yerevan, Armenia. I am Anna Varsakya, an alumni of the College of Europe, Natalie, an independent political analyst specialized in European neighborhood policy and the South Caucasus. The first decade of the Eastern Partnership was really immersive experience for Armenia, full of challenges, mistakes, ups and downs, and the parts of Brexit. As a result of cooperation within the scope of the Eastern Partnership, the EU-Armenian relations were cemented by the Comprehensive and Enhanced Partnership Agreement, SIPA. Now, we are moving beyond 2020 with a strategic tool to foster EU-Armenian relations both in a multilateral and in a bilateral track. In March 2020, the European Commission has released a document entitled Eastern Partnership Beyond 2020 which is going to be the main guiding document for the Eastern Partnership countries. It has five focal points, five principles. Among them are resilient economy, environmental and climate resilience, accountable institutions, digital transformation, and inclusive societies. As Armenia doesn't have membership aspirations for now, the document is a perfect background to foster EU-Armenian relationship in a way that can positively influence the lives of ordinary Armenians. Armenia can be the direct beneficiary of the objectives mentioned in the document, especially related to the resilient economy, sustainable growth, empowering women and uh, youth, and so on. The cooperation with the EU is crucial for Armenia to ensure the sustainability of the democratic and judicial reforms. It is also vital to boost the development of the SMEs, to ensure gender equality, to reduce unnecessary bureaucracy, and of course to empower youth to create more opportunities for them for their education and mobility. And to just positively influence on the life of ordinary Armenians.